What's up guys, it's Brian. All right, mowing vlog. I know you guys love these. Uh, we are mowing about, well, 20, 25 lawns today, whatever we can do until the weather breaks. Uh, we've already knocked out a few down this court over here, about four or five in the books, and we're gonna be showing you guys just some mowing footage, man. A lot of you guys just love watching mowing footage. Uh, I got tons of updates I wanna include uh, in the, uh, interject into the vlog, so much stuff going on. Um, and then also show you guys some stripe action with the new Star S. Uh, a lot of you guys have wanted to see that ever since the uh, setup video, which is cool. So we're gonna show you guys all that inside this vlog. Can't wait. Uh, we actually gotta get moving though too, man, because it literally has been nonstop rain uh, this whole spring. It's been like a 2011 repeat, if you guys remember that non-stop rain man so we're gonna squeak uh, a mowing vlog in though i know you guys love the footage stay tuned we'll see you guys inside make, 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 make the ground shake. all right guys so here's the deal i got robert already on the trimmer he's been rock and rolling with that uh, gonna hook the door here in a second. Hopefully it doesn't knock me out, right? <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys have been doing well, man. Just quick update for the season. Uh, we just had like the craziest, rainiest spring so far. Um, we've been trying to mow our regular 30 lawns a day, but we've been mowing like six days a week, seven days a week, doing mulch jobs on weekends. Um, it's just been crazy. I've been using the dump insert a, a lot with cleanups, but we're officially done with cleanups, thank God. Uh, and now we're back to regularly mowing. So I actually uh, canceled my Friday route. I was gonna rebuild it. I had eight lawns over there. I canceled those customers. Now we're a full-time Monday through Thursday, about eight to nine hours a day mowing. Uh, and that's about 120 uh, residentials or so, and then a crap ton of commercial pretty much all day on Monday. Uh, so I'm really digging that setup. It gives us a makeup day on Friday, even Saturday. But then I can also do landscaping jobs on Friday, landscaping on Saturday, and quite honestly, spend some freaking time editing YouTube videos if you guys wanna see more of this stuff. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the 2019 trailer setup video. Um, this is my uh, cousin, Rob. We call him Bob. Bob's been working with me. He's gonna be uh, the new lackey. Uh, he's a good kid and uh, just really helping me out here, growing the business and uh, trimming and blowing, do the whole deal. Um, that being said, let me stop talking. Let's do a mowing vlog. Just uh, sit back, relax if you guys enjoy this stuff. I'm gonna show this one here, uh, show you guys how we kind of shuttle house to house, a couple other ones that we do, and then I'll probably just come back, wrap it up here with uh, some final thoughts and some updates that we have because there's a lot of good things I wanna share with you guys really quick, especially talking to you guys about how much money uh, can you make in a day? I wanted to handle that one because a lot of you guys uh, are in disbelief that we cut 20, 30, 40 lawns a day. Hopefully the mowing footage shows you how close my lawns are and how fast that we can go from house to house. But I want to talk to you about daily revenue goals. I think that's a really good um, topic. Hasn't really been too much about that. I want to wrap this whole vlog up with that and show you guys some thoughts and some mindset. So hopefully this will be entertaining and educational, right? All right, guys, if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. Super appreciate the support. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I can watch. I'm watching right now. Click the little notification bell, right? All right, just having fun. All right, guys, let's get to mowing.
right, guys, what do you think? I think the stripes look pretty good. Oh, oh. This thing stripes real nice. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera. Uh, this is the Series 4 uh, Ultra Cut deck. It's not the Series 6, like it's like on the Laser Z. But those stripes are pretty good, man. I'll take that all day to the bank. Let me do a quick walk around for you guys uh, on the Star. Two big questions you guys had, OCD. I'm using the Xmark uh, OCD, just the one that they make, I guess. And then the second, and I like it, no issues with it at all. Uh, the hand lever is up front here. Right here, so open, close. It's a very simple, straightforward design. And the other thing was the leaning forward. A lot of you guys were wondering if you're pitched too forward with the, uh, with the Starus, I haven't really had any fatigue or issue. Knees, feet, ankles, joints, nothing. So uh, I don't think it'll be an issue. A lot of you guys were really curious about that from GIE. Uh, we probably in the country have one of the first ones and priority racking up the most amount of hours besides maybe some of you guys in the south. If I find anything, uh, for real, I'll let you guys know, but so far the mower's been a gem. Uh, a gem. I, I'm really enjoying using it on my residential lawns. That's where we're going to be utilizing this mower. Uh, and the main reason is because I like the smaller footprint. Uh, the 52 is a lot better for my boulevards, so I'm not scalping. And then I also like that it just weighs less. I'm not tracking as much, I've noticed, especially when I'm going in between houses. A lot of the sprinkler irrigation systems on my lawns, right, they all mash up together. So there's always flooding, especially in the spring, man. And, you know, it is what it is, so what are you going to do? So I like the mower so far. Uh, it's been a gem, it's laying down good stripes, all that other mess, no complaints. So uh, I'm curious if you guys are Team Xmark, if you guys are upgrading your vantages, if you guys are gonna be throwing down for one of these. Um, if so, great, if not, no big deal. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have your other mower brands out there, the Skags and the Wrights and all that. Uh, also really good mowers, man. So I feel like stand-ons are kind of like making uh, making a charge for the hill, right? So anyway, I'm gonna throw the camera back in the truck. We'll do some more mowing here and then stay tuned because I'll wrap this one up. I wanna talk about revenue and how many lawns you can cut and how much money you could possibly make a day cutting grass because at least what we aim for. So hopefully we'll help you guys out with that. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right guys, we're all done. Hey, one thing I wanted to interject really quick was uh, something that I learned from all you guys, which was stand on blowing. Like I love being on the stand on mower and being able to blow all of our sidewalks. This is gonna save us so much time. I'll show it to you guys really quick. It's not like anything I invented. I probably picked it up from JC Lawn Tips or B&B Lawn Care, but anyway, let me go blow off this lawn. Uh, that's the last one we got, and then we'll wrap this uh, part of the program up. Oh. Dump that in, but still, if I can just blow off the street side, 
gosh, that's a game changer for us. Game changer. So, anyway, do you guys use the stand-ons with the blowers and all this? I learned it from you guys, so I love being able to help each other out. Anyway, I know we look like nerds. How cool is that? We're having fun with lawnmowers, right? So, all right, let's get back to the regular scheduled content, right? <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys, so what's up? A little intermission here. I got my friend uh, Rob over here. He's finishing up trimming. But, um, hey, I just wanted to touch base with you guys really quick. I'm going to probably jump in the truck a little bit. Just talk to you guys. Um, wanted to just talk to you guys for a few minutes here about um, just revenue, man. Uh, we're going to wrap up this mowing vlog here. It's soaking wet, dude. Just all over the place. This backyard was no different. Um, but one thing I wanted to talk to you guys was, and I'd love to have you guys weigh in, was uh, somebody had left a comment on Instagram wondering how we cut like 20 or 30 lawns a day. And as you can see, like these are posted stamp style lawns, right? And uh, I think that one thing that I kind of confuse some folks on maybe is how many lawns you cut per day uh, versus maybe a revenue goal per day. Um, I think something that I'd love to have you guys comment on and weigh in down below was how much revenue do you guys do per day with a two man lawn care crew or team? You know, when I'm like, yeah, we cut 25 or 30 lawns a day. Well, that sounds good in theory, but the reality is like you should be doing $750 a day or $800 a day in revenue versus just, you know, cutting grass and saying I did 22 lawns. Well, 22 lawns could be $20 lawns or $22 could be $45 cuts and you guys are making 900 to a grand, right? $1,200 for the day. So it's all relative, I guess, is just kind of my point. Love to hear your guys' thoughts, of course. Uh, weigh in if you guys can, leave a comment down below. Two man teams for lawn care. Love to see what you guys do for work. If you guys enjoyed it, like I said, shoot a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it, guys. If you're enjoying these videos, check out the next one over here in the playlist. And guys, we'll catch up with you before you know it. Bye.